The National Postgraduate Medical College of Nigeria has raised concerns over the continuous exodus of Nigerian medical doctors to developed countries in search of greener pastures, a development which has led to non-availability of young medical experts to be trained in specialized areas. The college president, Dr. Akin Osibogun, raised the concern during the ongoing 17th Annual Scientific Conference and All Fellows Congress in Iloring, the Kwara State Capital, with the theme, Improving Healthcare Financing in Nigeria. The main challenge we've been having recently is uh, not finding enough people to train. The younger doctors are immigrating out of the country. Uh, at one of our meetings today, somebody just told us out of the 100% who graduated in the set, 50% of them are already out of the country. You know, so leaving only 50% behind in the country. That's a major challenge uh, because we need those younger doctors to be available for us to train them to become specialists. And then after becoming specialists, we need them to remain in the country. So together, all of us, all stakeholders, we have to look at mechanisms to improve and expand our training and also put in place mechanisms to retain the people we have trained in the country. And the only way you can retain them in the country is by improving on their work environment so that they have the instruments and the tools that they need to, to practice and the environment needs to be conducive and then of course they need to be well remunerated so that you can keep them in the country. There's a global market for skilled professionals. They are looking for them in Canada, they are looking for them in UK, they are looking for them in the United States, all over the world. So for you to retain your skilled professionals, you must put in place enough incentives to keep them here. And the incentives are both financial and non-financial. Dr. Siboko, who insists that federal government must provide enough incentive to retain doctors, advised on the need to determine equipment requirement and to ensure that they are available at ward, geopolitical or state levels with a view to resuscitating patients within the shortest time of medical need. The National Postgraduate Medical College of Nigeria is an institution saddled with the responsibility of providing post-medical education in Nigeria as well as to produce medical specialists like surgeons, ophthalmologists and so on. So we need as a country to uh, determine our equipment requirements and to marshal out a plan to ensure that those equipments are available at least either geopolitically or statewide or by ward level. Different equipment should be required at different levels. So you need some equipment at primary care level, then you need to be sure that at state level, some equipment is available. You must be able to resuscitate people in every state so that people don't need to go for one hour before they can access this critical equipment. From our population, Nigeria should rank fourth or fifth in the world's population of doctors. As a nation, and as professionals, we should begin to exploit our potential to contribute to and impact on, rather than merely benefit from developments in the practice, training and evaluation of medicine in today's world. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.